Welcome everybody back to the renovations of Chateau de Montmagny. Now you find me sitting in my usual position every night, two to three hours, editing videos just for you. So on my list of jobs to do for this week, I'm at my penultimate task, which is mortaring. Now you have all seen me doing so much mortaring in the past. Do you remember this clip? Martin is going to tell you how to mix up the lime mortar so we can start pointing for the rest of our lives. That was from 2020. So we obviously had an idea then that we were going to be mortaring for the rest of our life. So today, because you're probably bored of me mortaring, I thought I'd take you with me down a little rabbit hole. But first things first, we've got to go shopping for the materials. <laughs> We've got all the bloody great field to charge about on. Then you want to charge about on this blue thing. So we've just been down to our local DIY shop, Big Mat, picked up a load of sand and a load of shawl and uh, it's mortaring time again. You know, it's uh, just I really sort of feel to me. The worst thing is this, Jim. I've done this so many times. Not that I'm complaining on my own, I've done it on my own. And, uh, but I like it. But, um, what? I always think to myself, right, I'll count the barrels. I'll count how many there are. Barrel up. And I always lose count. I always forget. <laughs> you always just get bored. I just get, forget, forget counting, yeah. Look. Eight acres. I've got eight acres to sit down. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so that was the start of the day, shopping for materials. That takes a couple of hours. And 24 changes of camera angles. Now keep watching, you'll see where I'm going with this finally. So my job today is to do all the finishing touches before Ted finishes the cabinet and puts it in. And that is sorting all the edges out. So I'm gonna mortar all clean edges. So you'll see here where you've got gaps where the plasterboard meets the stone. I'm just gonna infill it with a bit of mortar so it has kind of a seamless feel to it, a flow. There's a lot of it to do, especially up on the ceiling part. So I need to get the scaffolding back out, hopefully for the last time in here. Started in the morning is the worst part. Yes, it is, Bessie. Once you've got your cameras set up, then you've got to find your tools. Then you can't find your gloves. Then you find your gloves and you put them down. And then you can't find them again. I'm sure there is a glove fairy that just, they disappear. And then you look at the clock and you realise that two hours has gone by already. And you're only just about to get started. Should we start this? Should we start? <laughs> Oh my God, you literally have to do a shot, move your camera, do another shot, move your camera. It just takes forever. It takes so long to get the good shots. But then if you don't get the good shots, then people moan that your vlog's boring. So you have to take your time to do it. But it really puts so much time on a day when you could just be getting on with renovation. But it's got to be done because you guys need to see the truth about renovating any building in France or anywhere in the world. Okay, so we're now about to start. I think it's about midday. It's crazy. Um, I put my scaffolding out, then realised that I'd put me, um, I don't know, joist bits, the bits in between, round the wrong way so I couldn't get me platform on. So I had to take it down again and restart. Ah, but we're ready to start now. So I'm starting on the worst, the hardest bit, which is up in the ceiling. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna show you the gaps that I've, I've got to fill. Because at the moment, if, um, you know, if, if it was just us living here and you didn't really mind about it, you, you could leave it. They're not massive gaps. Um, but it's just that attention to detail of just, you know, making them flow into the walls. They just make it look so much better, I think. And, um, you know, I wish I knew this trick when I was doing the tea room, when I first started doing all this. Because in the tea room, I used map. 
which is a multi adhesive purpose and it just goes off very quickly and it and it's really good to use for a lot of things but when it's against stone I, I hate the tea roll I think it looks awful so one day I'd like to go back and redo all the edges on there but um, right let's get started on this turn you around now doing this is really fiddly because you've got your gaps here and obviously gravity is going to pull the weight of the mortar down so the idea is I've wet this um, I've just sprayed it with some water uh, because lime water sticks to water um, because it soaks it up it's not going to stick really well so you're always going to have a lot that's going to be falling down but you just have to build it up and the idea is to put a thin layer on first of all and then build it up and build it up until you fill that gap up um, I'll show you what I mean now sometimes you're going to wobble a bit because you're on the uh, scaffolding with me but sometimes these angles it's quite difficult to get your trowel into these angles so sometimes it's actually better with your hands I'm going to try with the trowel not to dodge the camera as well. So that's the idea, get a thin layer on first. Now don't forget, we come back after this, you can see all the bits falling on the floor. So there's a lot of clearing up to do afterwards. And then you just keep pushing it up into the gap. And there you go, we've got a nice line here. This line, not to worry about because we're gonna come back and we're gonna brush that back. But what I do do is just try and mold it in a little bit as I go. And then tomorrow, once it's dry, we'll come back and brush it back. you see there I'm gonna put you here I don't know how much you're gonna see but being up on the scaffolding being up on the scaffolding here is really difficult to film because I've only got very narrow space I'm not a small person I've got my muck to have with me as well you to think about and the work to do so I don't know how much you're gonna see of this but let's give it a go Okay, we're all done up here. Actually, we're not all done up here. I've just remembered something. I forgot to take the blue tape off the ceiling when I finished the artwork. So I'll get that off. Just check the ceiling doesn't need a little bit of a touch up and then we can start down there. So we're now up to 60 camera angles and that's just the ones that I've used in the clip. Now you may notice that continuity is not that great on this video. I'm now different hairstyle, different clothing. And that is because when I was doing the first bit of filming, this happened. Oh, yeah. oh I don't believe it. Oh, you. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. And I've just knocked a whole cup of tea all over my laptop, my phone, my table and my floor. Now the funniest thing of all <laughs> is I'm just about to start a vlog 
about the truth of vlogging and all the things that could go wrong. <laughs> that is quite hilarious. But Ted is going to absolutely kill me. I've only just got this new laptop because the last one went tits up. Oh, don't bloody believe it. Oh. So as you can see, there are so many challenges when it comes to doing a vlog. Now, the laptop is okay, thankfully. We had it open, we dried it out, and thank God it is fine. I'm being able to use it again, however, a little bit slower than it should. Now, this vlog all came about because of a lovely comment we had from our viewer, Ruth. Now, this is what Ruth said in her comment. I can't wait for the piggeries to be done, wrapped up. There's so much silence, the videos, then we come back to this project, which seems to progress at a snail's pace. Sorry we are not quick enough for you, Ruth. Unfortunately, it does take longer because everything has to be made, best spoke by hand and fitted. There is no pop into the DIY shop for a cabinet and it's slotting in nicely. We also like to do things properly. We are not just renovating for content, but to actually restore a building to withstand time. I hope this helps you to understand a bit more. Now you can understand comments like that can be quite upsetting because of the amount of time that we do take on these vlogs and we're trying to do the work as well. So sorry Ruth if I come back a little bit stern to you and sorry to everybody when you make these comments if I do come back a bit stern but it can sometimes be quite upsetting and I think doing a vlog like this is our only way of really showing you how much work is involved not just through us but every single vlogger out there that is doing these videos to put onto YouTube. You may turn around and say, well, you chose to do it. You're right, we did choose to do it. And that is down to us. We should accept that we are going to get criticism from a lot of people. And hopefully this vlog will show you how much work is involved. And we're only a small channel. Now, I'm gonna show you my screen at the moment. This is how the vlog starts out. There's nine hours of footage here from yesterday only. Now that nine hours has got to be condensed down to 10 to 15 minutes. Today's vlog is gonna be a little bit longer, I'm afraid. So you can see the amount of footage that is actually wasted and not used, but has to be done. Anyway, I think that's enough of that. And I think you've got the gist. Let's see how Ted's getting on with the cabinet. Cause I don't think things go quite to plan. So it's taking a while, but the cabinet's all finished. I've still got to do a little bit of work to the top, but. It's looking kind of nice. Time to offer it up. I can't believe this. I cannot believe what I've done. The, the pipe. I forgot all about. Really? All that work. Jesus Christ. I can't flipping give up. What am I doing in here, baby? I don't know. What are you doing in here? You asked me to come over. I don't know why. <laughs> I think she swallowed a fly. <laughs> um, yes. Right. Well, I've offered up the cabinet yeah. in here and I've made a horrendous mistake. Like, cat catastrophic. It's a catastrophe. <laughs> um, I love that wall. The wall is just bonkers. It is so beautifully bonkers. Hee <sighs> hee. 
Cool. And you're going to fiddle about with some of them around the mirror. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay. So, um, yeah, I've made this little cabinet. It's taken a long time to make this little cabinet, and I love it. And I, I, I'm really quite proud, pleased with it. However, it doesn't work. <laughs> what you've done. Because I've completely and utterly misjudged the fact that I've got a bloody great bit of pipe work there that I had to box in. So what I should have done is made a cabinet with a recess at the back of it, which I could have just hooked over the top there. But did I do that? No, I didn't. I made this nice little freestanding cabinet because I thought it'd be nice to have a freestanding pedestal for with a drawer and a door. And um, however, I'm not gonna not use it. So as with anything of this, we've got to come up with a solution. The solution I've come up with is to, I'll box in the pipe work, which is fine, but then, well, to be honest with you, I don't even need to box in the pipe work because the cabinet will go up here and there will be a gap at the back here because of the pipe work. Yeah. So we infill between here and the cabinet with a board like this. Yeah. Which, you can't see the pipe work, Fantastic. You can't see the gap. I will carry the, the top of the cabinet all the way to the back here. So, and then the sink will go in its original position, the basin will go in its original position at the back here. And then all the pipe work goes up. Well, it has to go into the cabinet because obviously the sink is about here. The, the, the drain is about here. So that's got to go in there. But then the, the taps and everything We'll go up here. Cool. And yeah, it's not ideal. It would have been nicer to have that at the cabin uh, at the back, but again, it wouldn't have been freestanding. Yeah. Um, and so it just means that I've got to do a little jiggery. Um, you've got to do one of these for that side. Okay. Possibly we'll do one for that side. Yeah. Because it will wind you up if you're sitting on the toilet yeah. and you're looking at it. Yeah. And that'll wind you up. Um, so we'll do two bits of that um, and I just need to do a little bit of boxing in here that then I can rest that against and that the, the, the back will be fixed to the to, to here I'll fix that back to here so I'll put a line in put a piece of a timber in there and I'll fix that top to it and then that top will be fixed to the cabinet so it won't rock about Okay. And sound all right? Yeah. See as I screwed up. No problem. Well, as you can see, it's getting really late now, and Ted's gone back in the workshop. I'm not sure if he's going to try and do the solution tonight. I hope not, because he needs to come in and have some dinner and just step away from it. I just feel really gutted for him because he's worked so hard on this cabinet. So we will see you next Monday for the rest of the bathroom saga. Have a good weekend, everybody. Don't forget, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing. Take care.